Good morning, scholars. Today, we're going to be talking about adaptations. You know, those things that help living organisms survive. Are you ready? I am. Here we go. Adaptations. Adaptation is a profound process. It means you figure out how to thrive in the world. John LaRoche. Whoa. So, how do animals survive and thrive in the wild? Well, first, how do we do it? How do humans adapt and change? When it is winter time, you usually don't wear short sleeve shirts and shorts. You wear clothes that can keep you warm, like jackets, scarves, and mittens, and a knit cap, of course. Snowball fight! Wah! <laughs> when your friend throws a snowball at you, you know to run or hide. You may even try to sneak up on your friend and throw a snowball at them. Dressing in warm clothes in winter and running from someone throwing snowballs at you are kinds of adaptations. An adaptation is a physical or behavioral characteristic that helps an organism survive in its surroundings. Adaptations can be physical or behavioral. Physical adaptations are physical features or structures of an organism like a fin on a fish or feathers on a bird. Behavioral adaptations are activities animals perform, which helps them meet a life need. Physical adaptations include camouflage, mimicry, chemical defenses, and structural characteristics. Camouflage is where an animal blends into its surroundings, like this chameleon here. Mimicry allows one animal to sound, look, or act like another animal to fool its predators. Like this snake, it has the coloring of a coral snake, but this snake is not poisonous. Some animals use chemical defenses like venom, sprays, and ink to deter predators, like the skunk. Structural characteristics are structures like claws, feet, armor, plates, and teeth that help an animal to survive. Okay, we've talked about physical adaptations, but what about behavioral adaptations? Well, there's two of them. The first one is instinctive. Instinctive behaviors happen naturally. They do not have to be learned. And then the second one is learned behaviors. You know, those behaviors that have to be taught. Hmm. Let's look at some examples of both instincts and learned behaviors. Instinctive behaviors. Gathering and storing food. Freezing or playing dead for protection. Migrating. Raising young. Living in groups. Or hibernating are all examples of instinctive behaviors. Learned behaviors include an animal will gradually stop responding to a repeated stimuli. Like a prairie dog. Prairie dogs typically sound an alarm when threatened by a predator. They will give the alarm when they hear human footsteps. After a while without anything bad happening when they hear human footsteps, they'll stop giving the alarm in response to the footsteps. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Learned behaviors include an animal can learn to perform a behavior through a reward or punishment that follows the behavior. Okay. Learn behaviors include some animals, especially primates, are capable of more complex forms of learning. This is Ham. He is the first chimpanzee in space. He had to do different activities while on board his spacecraft as NASA watched to see how microgravity and the space environment would affect him and ultimately humans. That's pretty cool. I know when John LaRoche said that adaptations are a profound process, I definitely know what he meant. 
It's so cool to see how living organisms adapt to their ecosystems so that they can thrive and survive. Until next time. Thank you.